How's it going, all you beautiful hunters? Today we're uh we're just gonna do a quick overrun of how to get the nightmare lecture building trophy. And it's a pretty easy one to get. Um if you play through the game, you're gonna get it guaranteed. You cannot miss it because non-optional bosses are behind the door you have to get this from. In order to get this trophy, you have to gain entry into the Bergenworth Lecture Building that drifts within the realms of Nightmare. Two ways to get there. Either A, after you defeat Viker Amelia, there are four doors or places you can knock on that hang a red lantern. After you've defeated Amelia and you go speak to one of them with a red lantern, it will give you the Tonsil Stone. Now, if you take the Tonsil Stone, Come out of Grand Cathedral and take a left. Go down, defeat the two hunters, work your way through, defeat the two giants, and then walk up and stand close to the door. A lesser amygdala will pick you up, crush you, and transport you into the Bergenworth Lecture Building. The other way to do this is after you've beaten the One Reborn, walking up and interacting with the corpse of one of the scholars from the School of Mensis. Um, no one has actually... I guess there has been confirmation the corpse is of Mikalash, one of the, the heads of the scholars at the School of Mensis. So we're just going to do a quick run through. I'm going to show you how to get a tonsil stone, or at least it's the ways that I, I've always gotten a tonsil stone. I almost never use the Tonsil Stone to get to Nightmare Mensis because I always go there after I beat the One Reborn. But hopefully it will allow me to show you both ways. I've never tried this. This, of course, is also a silver trophy. Alrighty, so here we are at the lantern you get after you defeat the One Reborn. From here you can run up the steps. And inside this building here you see all of the students of the School of Mensis. But here is the corpse of Mikalash, or the mummy of Mikalash. Now you can kneel to it and pray, and it'll transport you to the Nightmare of Mensis. But the other way that we can do this is a little more fun, actually. But what we're going to do, we're going to return to Hunter's Dream. And then we're going to go to the Lantern, where we defeated Vicar Amelia, the Grand Cathedral. And then from there, we're going to wrap around, go kill two hunters. And after that, it's... <gasps> I think we... Oh, we got one of the rare ones. Let me see if I can sneak up on her and let y'all hear the doll cry. Because it is, uh, it is definitely, it's rare to get this one. Is she up here? Yep, yeah, she's right there. I don't know what that tombstone is. You never use it. It could just be the the tomb of an old hunter. Yeah, that, that's really cool. I love when I'm able to get that. So what we're gonna do? Oh no, it's this one. Oh no 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 no! Ah! Never talk while you're trying to do stuff important or that you see is important because I just warped us back to Advent Plaza. Which, you know, in all honesty, if you wanted to know where it was, Advent Plaza, is this one. We're going to go back to Hunter's Dream and go to Grand Cathedral this time. Uh, at least y'all know I'm human. I screw stuff up. Uh, that should be evident from the last video, going to the one reborn, dying so many times. That was ridiculous. But no, we're going to go here. Go to the Grand Cathedral. 
And from the Grand Cathedral, we're going to go down like we're going towards the door that we were in that dish after Rom. There is a door we can speak to down there that will or should give us a tonsil stone. I'm not sure if I'm too far in the game to acquire one, but let's go find out. Again, I've never tried this this late in the game, and I've always used the mummy after the one reborn to get to the Nightmare of Mensis. I've never actually attempted going this route. We go out to the left, and then we go this way. And there are two hunters down here that we have to fight. Well, I say have to. You don't exactly have to fight them. But it's uh better off if you do. Um, well, what? Okay. Let's knock on this door and see if we can get a tonsil stone. No response. Seriously? I've defeated Vicar Amelia. I may not be able to do it anymore. Because this is the door that you get you can get a tonsil stone from. Huh. Well, there you go guys. Um do that immediately after defeating uh Vicar Amelia if you want to get the tonsil stone. I believe that's the requirement for it. Let me double check for us all real quick. That way I can uh, tell you exactly the requirement. Let's see here, tonsil stone. <clears throat> Received from the first red lantern. Alrighty, so yes, you can receive the tonsil stone at that house. But you may only receive the tonsil stone at that house if you have not defeated Rom yet. So definitely as soon as you beat Vicar Amelia, <coughs> if you want to, go down to that house I just showed you. There will be two hunters there. Kill them. And a hey, presto, tonsil stone, run down the hill, get picked up by that lesser amygdala or the amygdala over near... Um, uh, over there where you get the hunter outfit. And you'll, uh, you'll be good. You can go ahead and head to the Nightmare Mensis early. But, this is how we're going to do it. Inspect the mummy. And as soon as you load in, within a few seconds... You will receive the uh, Nightmare Lecture Building Trophy. As soon as this pops up, there's your trophy. And a uh, pretty simple one. You'll get it no matter what. As long as you're playing through the game, you will get this trophy. Remember, hit the like, hit the like button, thumbs up button, whatever y'all want to call it, the subscribe button, and that notification bell. Make sure to slam it. Because we're going to get... All the trophies everywhere. Y'all have a good one.